Welcome to this video which highlights the proactive threat hunting content pack available in the Cortex XOR marketplace. Threat hunting is a proactive cybersecurity approach that detects and mitigates security threats in an organization. Instead of relying on the traditional security tools and automated threat detection systems, threat hunting actively searches for signs of malicious activity that may have evaded automated detection. Threat hunters work based on hypotheses or educated guesses about potential threats. These hypotheses guide their investigations and focus their efforts on specific areas of concern. The proactive threat hunting pack initiates two kinds of threat hunting sessions, SDO hunting and freestyle hunting. With SDO hunting, the threat hunter selects an SDO indicator from the campaign, the intrusion set, or malware, and Cortex-XOR builds the threat hunting hypothesis around it. The relationships involving the SDO indicator are analyzed, and two groups of artifacts are extracted, legitimate tools that may be used maliciously, and indicators of compromise, or IOCs. Next, either Cortex XDR or Microsoft Defender for Endpoint searches for an execution of the tool. The tool CMD arguments that are found are compared to malicious argument patterns from LOLBAS using a Python module called Sequence Matcher. This module returns a result between 0 and 1, with 1 indicating the highest similarity. In addition, an IOC hunt is performed using the threat hunting generic playbook. With freestyle hunting, an interactive layout enables the threat hunter to execute custom queries against Cortex XDR or Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, upload indicators from a CSV file and block them using the block indicator generic v3 playbook, actively search and block software found in the organization, isolate endpoints, and quarantine files. Let's take a look at a proactive threat hunting integration instance. You can find the pack in Marketplace by browsing for proactive threat hunting. During the pack installation, you will need to install the LulBass feed pack, which after configuration will inject tool type indicators into Cortex X or TIM. You will need to choose either Cortex XDR or Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to support hunting for malicious tool usage. To enable automated hypothesis building for the threat hunting session, you need to configure the MITRE ATT&CK framework, which injects attack patterns and multiple SDO indicators such as campaigns into Cortex X or TIM. We also recommend configuring the Unit 42 Atoms feed, which injects various SDO indicators and related malicious IOCs into Cortex X or TIM, along with reports on the most recent threats that can be converted into hunting sessions. Lastly, configure the LulBAS feed to inject tool indicators into Cortex X or TIM and to establish relationships with the relevant attack patterns. Let's run an example of an SDO hunting session. We will use a campaign indicator provided by the Unit 42 feed as a hypothesis for the hunt. In the indicator hunt, you can find all the relationships related to this campaign. Some of them are attack patterns that point to possible techniques used as part of this campaign, along with related IOCs. After installing the proactive threat hunting pack, an execute hunt button displays in the relevant indicator layouts. Pressing the button creates a new incident representing the hunting session searching for suspicious evidence possibly related to this campaign. In every layout tab, there are two general sections, updates for the hunter to keep track of every phase during the hunt, and instructions to display tasks requiring actions by the hunter. Once the hunting session execution completes, you will receive updates in the Updates for the Hunter section. The Hunt Results tab contains details about the hypothesis, including the SDO indicator, related attack patterns, and tools possibly used in the campaign. At the bottom, you can see assets that may contain or be related to suspicious behavior based on a comparison between the malicious argument pattern from Lobas and the argument found in your environment, along with the tool that was used. You can also find sequence matcher results for each comparison. On the right side, under the Detected IOCs section, you can access the indicators of compromise found during the hunt. Once the hunting session execution completes, a new tab called Investigation and Response appears. This tab enables the hunter to perform post-hunting investigation and remediation activities. Entity Enrichment collects additional data on the assets that contain or are related to suspicious behavior found during the hunt. Each button triggers a playbook that executes the necessary activity, with results appearing below the action buttons. The Execute Custom Query option enables running follow-up queries. The Cheat Sheet tab contains suggested queries to run. 
The query results appear on the right side under the Custom Query Results tab. The hunter can then perform post-hunting remediation activities such as blocking IOCs, blocking accounts, isolating endpoints, and quarantining files. Once the hunting session completes, you can close the incident with close notes and a close reason which are displayed in the evidence section at the bottom. The pack includes a dashboard that displays statistics on the hunting sessions executed in the instance. It covers information about the most commonly used tools, hosts with the most suspicious hunt results, users most involved in suspicious activity, the latest threat hunting sessions, and SDO indicators used in hunting sessions. Using the proactive threat hunting input, the hunter can reconfigure the sequence matcher threshold and the time frame for query executions. Let's take a look now at the freestyle hunting process. To create a freestyle section, start by creating a new incident, naming it accordingly, and choosing the proactive threat hunting incident type. Then, under the Instruction tab, select Freestyle Hunt for the Data Collection task. A new tab labeled Freestyle Hunting displays. In this tab, the hunter can perform the same actions as those in the Investigation and Response tab in the SDO Hunting session, with two additional features. Search and block software that enables the hunter to search for and block unauthorized software usage across the network using Cortex XDR systems, and uploading and blocking a list of indicators from a CSV file using the block indicator generic v3 playbook. Thanks for watching. Use the Cortex XOR proactive threat hunting content pack to take your security threat detection and mitigation to the next level.